The last shrub we'll cover in this series is the mountain mahogany, or Cercocarpus minutiflorus. Can you guess what the species name minutiflorus means? Even if you're not a native Latin speaker, you can probably figure out that it means minute or small flowers. We'll see those in just a bit. The mountain mahogany is a member of the rose family, and it also is found in the chaparral habitat. It's a perennial shrub, although it can grow fairly big, sometimes up to 18 feet tall. The mountain mahogany generally flowers between March and May. The flowers occur in bundles that are called inflorescences, typically two to ten in a group and arranged around a small floral cup. This is nothing fancy, it's just a word that refers to the groupings of flowers on a plant stalk. Now, in the case of mountain mahogany, the flowers are very tightly organized around a central cup-like structure. But from a distance, all these flowers, the inflorescence, just look like one very pretty but complicated flower. But each one is quite tiny, hence the species name, minutiflorus. After the mountain mahogany flowers are pollinated, they form what are called seed plumes that are like long silvery feathers that are very showy and very distinctive, especially when backlit. The leaves, although sharing some characteristics with the other shrubs we've talked about, also have their differences. They're larger than the leaves of the wart stem ceanothus, spiny red berry, or coastal sage scrub. They may be up to an inch in length. And they have very distinctive lateral veins that go from the center of the leaf out to the teeth of the leaves. You can see this really well if you view a leaf in front of the sun or another bright light source. They're quite attractive. Here's docent Ginny Smith describing some of the differences between the leaves of mountain mahogany and ceanothus. They have these veins yes. that go... And they come out from the base. From the base, as yeah, opposed mostly. To from a center vein. Not right. entirely, but mostly. Yeah. And they don't have a little dimple. So to look at the at the top margin. Uh huh. And with a mountain mahogany, it's serrated at the top. Right. And the ceanothus is not. Is not. This one is real easy to see that serrated top margin. Yeah. Yeah. So, those are the four shrubs, wart-stemmed ceanothus, spiny redberry, coastal sage scrub, and mountain mahogany. When you see them for the first time, perhaps together, the similarities may overwhelm you. But once you know what to look for, your eyes will quickly seek out the clues that you've learned will distinguish each one. Pretty soon, you'll be on a first-name basis with each plant.